Hello and welcome. You are watching Thomas's Tower Pitch with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, this is for the sign of Leo. We're looking at the month of August 2022. You're watching Thomas's Tower Pitch. Please like, subscribe, and share. And you know what? If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on mm -hmm. buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. I might actually put this in the video right, because people do actually buy me coffee. It's very yeah. awesome. Anyway, so what we will do is we will divide the videos into sections so it's actually easier for you to understand them and also easier for us to read them. And how this will work is we look at the overall energy for the entire month for the sign of Leo before we then go into the emotional core. Emotional core means if there's healing that needs to happen, if there's pain that can go, or if there's love coming in, sort of the emotional stuff. And then finally we look at opportunities. Now opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially, if that makes sense. That said, you have a notion what the guides are up to until they say it, if that makes sense. And as you noticed, I'm not alone. Yeah, I have a guest. <laughs> My guest is Kelsey Kane, and she does readings, obviously, otherwise she wouldn't be here. <laughs> and I'm leaving a, um, a link to her Facebook page in the description box. So please, please, please reach out, ask her for readings, because, you know, why not? Okay. okay. And now what we do is, we know, with no further ado, Leo, we are now going into the overall energy for the month of August 2022 for your very sign. Right. Okay. And for your information, we're recording this mid-July, so we're sweating our bloody asses off. Right? <laughs> it is probably the hottest day. They said it's the hottest day of the year or something, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Bloody hell. Right. So when you see us sweating, it's not because we have bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then, Leo. So the overall energy, um, what I'm getting through is that basically now is the time to allow your mind to wander. Um, I feel as though Leo are spiritually connected more at the moment, uh, which is probably because we are coming into Leo. Um, so yeah, basically the guys are just saying, you know, preparation um, for what's to come and you know patience connecting with that spirituality that little bit more um you know this month is going to be full of abundance for you thank you and remember we're in the sign of leo and on the 23rd of august we're going into the sign of virgo so therefore the strength of leo's fully full energy is obviously waning a little bit therefore whatever it is you really have planned it makes sense to actually Organize yourself in a way that when Leo and Virgo comes, your energy is not quite as strong as it is in your as it is right now in your own sign. Just pay, pay attention to how the energy flows this month. So thank you so much. Let's have a look at your um, emotional core. Now, what is interesting about this is that Leo's, you are asked to <laughs> take it easy. Remember, your depiction is a male lion. The male lion has only one job: is to walk the perimeter. La, 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 la. Right? So, so that's what you're asked to do. Just just you know step back from everything, right? Just do your thing if that makes sense, right? So make sure, yes, by all means, make sure you are you are um your territory is safe for one of a better word. But they're asking not to partake in any really stressful things, uh, too many communications, too many conversations, go nowhere, just pay attention to let thing, letting things flow. And then you have here an interesting chart. I'm using the Monology deck this time. And the and the, um, the depiction here says, the answers you need are coming. And it is interesting because you, you were asked to sort of step back a little in the months of August 2022. And only when you actually step back and allow yourself a bit of me time and a bit of quiet, will you actually hear and sense and acknowledge and see the answers that are coming your way. So when it comes to your emotional core, you're not, they're, they're not giving me whether or not there's massive love coming in, right? And if you are in a relationship, um, they're also not saying that you have to take it to another level. This is just saying whatever it is in your sort of love life or when it comes to what can go, um, that needs to be addressed, is best addressed by just being uh, a bit more relaxed, okay? So that's all um, I got for your emotional core. And then lastly, we're going uh, to have a look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the sign of Leo for the month of August 2022. Okay, so Leo, I'm picking up that 
it's it's going to be a transformative time for you um as i said earlier you know abundance is coming in and i think this is where it connects um to obviously what thomas has just said um it's going to be magical and yeah, <laughs> yeah. so like i said please I, I say it all the time and i have to say it because you are not listening apparently please 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 like subscribe and first and foremost share a lot of people say to me like oh i don't know any leos if it if it resonates with you it might resonate with other people just share it please because it's a free service and the more we can spread the word and the more people can connect the better this is Elsie, thank you so much thank you and i'm just gonna stop this now okay. right and then <laughs> see you all next month i hope <laughs>